Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In the last episode, we continued this longer than I thought tutorial, and Smiling Jack gave me a gun. Now, guns aren't all that great in this game, but might as well use it a little bit. Oh, and since I was a wimp last time, I didn't show uh, what is going on here. Uh, no. There's an invisible wall here. I guess they are making me shoot these bottles. I thought it was optional. Okay. Yeah, I love how I can still miss, despite the fact that my, uh, targeting reticle is clearly in the right spot. But alright, where'd that rat go? Ah, delicious rat. Well, they're good in a pinch. They give you one blood point, which isn't that much, but... If you're lost in the sewers, say, rats are good. But I can't open the door. What is this? No. Okay. Yeah, if you play as a Ventru, they're not allowed to eat rats. They don't get any blood points from them because they're hoity-doity. Now, you can switch to first-person view if you want, and that's, of course, recommended for the gun. Not that it matters too much, because headshots do not do increased damage. Alright, enough of this. My fists are better than your gun. Especially against these foolish humans. Ooh. These are showing the different types of text that are displayed during the negotiation options. There's, uh... There's Persuade, sedu uh, Seduction, and Intimidate. I will be using Intimidate. There's also Dominate for Ventru, and Insanity for Malkavians, but I don't have access to those, obviously. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. That's it? It's all over? Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back, parry, dodge, spin and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. Is this normal? Well, to be honest, you came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabbat. Well, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred at stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. Lot of tension out there. Lot of fear. Lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. You're losing me here, Jack. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you got a cab to catch. I was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Ah, hell, you'll figure it all out. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. Alrighty then, and now I have experience points that I can use to make myself better. I'll get to that in a second. Now they're sending me off to my own little house. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope so this is my home base. I know I Just a crappy apartment, but it's mine. That's important. Let's pick up a pill bottle. Not a huge amount of use for the pill bottles, but I'll get to that. Alrighty then. Let's see. At your convenience, please come and visit me at my home downtown. I will leave this to guide you. And blah blah blah. So that's from a Tamir regent. The Tamir are the mages of this game. Alright, let me turn off. How many boats do you? Turn off the radio there. The radio is pretty cool if you listen to it. It's kind of like the talk station in Grand Theft Auto. Let's see, email. Oh, good. I need a password for my own computer. Let's try to hack my own computer. 
It failed. Oh, my computer has decent security. That's good to know. Um, I know the password is here somewhere. Sunrise. Okay. And I also have a letter to see some guy that can supposedly help me. And he's in this town. So I will be doing that. People will send me emails periodically. So I have a bunch of emails. A reminder. Alright, so that's what the letter's about. Alright, penis enlargement. Excellent. <laughs> Gotta love a game that sends you junk mail in the game. Mm. Oh, well, I shouldn't deal with all of this. So that's the guy that I'm supposed to meet. He's telling me where to meet him in town. If you really want to read that, you can you can pause, but um I know it's kind of hard to read on the screen because for some reason the quality's all distorted. Where's the last one? An opening. The game begins. A pawn is moved. Throughout the game, I will receive these mysterious emails from a friend. And Honestly, I've beaten the game four times. I'm not 100% sure who's sending them. Blood pack. These will heal me. How nice of them to leave them in my refrigerator. Pizza? I have no use for pizza. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there's this toilet watch. Excellent. The only thing you can do with the watches is sell them. I think they also tell the time, but uh, it's completely pointless. What's in here? Alas, difficulty five. And that's weird. I remember there being something in there. Perhaps I should do a little bit of preparation for this game because I have played it a lot, but I I don't remember a whole lot. That newspaper just gave me a new quest. So here's my quest logs. The newspaper gave me the Carnival of Death quest. Uh, also that regent who sent me the uh, letter wants me to meet him. And then I need to meet a human somewhere in this town who's my contact for Prince LaCroix. Ooh, it's open. What do we have here? <laughs> I'll get used to the controls eventually. I'm still kind of fumbling around a little bit. Alright, you know what? I won't search for things on screen. Uh, from now on, I'll do little uh, run runs of buildings and stuff, and then I'll go back and get the items, because... I know there's items somewhere. I just can't remember exactly where. If you have inspection, it's a lot easier to find them. Here's my mailbox. Uh, periodically you will receive actual mail, but there's only one or two instances where that happens. So let's explore the town a little bit. You got, you got some change, mister? I do. But not for you. Asshole! <laughs> what is going on? Well, someone appears to be bleeding out of their face. I should probably look into that. Uh, this is a sewer cover. You can travel throughout pretty much all the cities through the sewers. And if you're a Nosferatu who looks really freaking fugly and not human, you have to to keep up the masquerade. Because otherwise you'll lose masquerade points just for people looking at you. And if you lose all five of your masquerade points, game over. It's not really a big deal, though. I'm going to need a sh... Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Hmm, what time is it? What are you doing? 
Nothing. No, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer. Old army buddy. He, uh, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. Sure, buddy. And we have my first intimidation option. You think you could spare a few bucks? I'm a little down on my luck now. Uh, sure. I guess I could spare a few dollars. Uh, here you are. Uh, good luck getting back on your feet. You know, that sure is a nice watch you got there. My watch? It's a Quantum Limited Edition. Only 50 made in the world. Quite irreplaceable. It was an anniversary present for my wife. You have a nice night. I'm going to tell people what time it is. Yeah, I don't feel like being that much of a jerk. <laughs> Taking his watch also. Even though there isn't really any penalty for doing so. It's just your choice for role-playing, and you get a little bit extra money if you sell it. But money isn't really a huge deal in this game. And there are prostitutes on the street that you can bring into the alley and feed on if you're really low on health. Unless you're a Ventru, because they're not, uh, high-blooded enough, I guess. Despite the fact that low-life thugs are somehow pure enough for Ventru to feed on, but I guess I just didn't want to make the disadvantage too bad, but normally you wouldn't think they'd be able to feed on them either. Uh, do I want to... do I want to explore a bit? Oh, well, I, I think I'll... I think I'll go in here, talk to Mr. Bleedy Face, and then I'll move on. Well, then I'll end the video. Just leaving a trail of blood, man. That was weird. Wake up, buddy. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. What happened to you? I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. It's a broken bottle. Now, tell me what happened to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. Those cocksuckers... Beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Vamp blood. Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. So where do I find the astrolite now? Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money, too, that prick. Now, you can be a total jerk to this guy and threaten to tell the prince about him, and that will change the outcome of this mission. I'd say it's beneficial to be nice to him, but it doesn't matter that much. Laying in a pool in my own blood, and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street... In the parking garage, stairs down to the beach, on the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. Anything else? You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, <clears throat> something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Now, if you remember, I got a bottle of pills from my bathroom cabinet. Oh, I guess I can't uh, give them to him straight off. How about the deal? I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Good to know. Goodbye. Now, let me see if I can give him the pills if I talk to him again. Oh damn, did you die on me? Uh. Try not to die. Goodbye. Alright, apparently not. 
You would think that would be an... Oh. <laughs> Never mind, those aren't painkillers. That is estrogen. Alright, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll have to go get some painkillers. So that's it for this episode. Next time I'll explore the city a little bit, and if I have time I might actually start the mission, but I'll probably be wandering around and uh, getting to know some of the local color. Maybe break into a few houses. Church or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm Cross Knights. Thanks for watching.